oh yeah we have noah one of my favorite streetwear brands debuting their spring summer collection here on screen the entire lookbook um noah's probably one of the more underrated i'd say i would say underrated i'd say maybe overlooked brands in streetwear at the moment because i guess it's not necessarily quintessentially your you know what you describe as streetwear in terms of hoodie jeans sneakers and the baseball cap it's a little bit more grown up you maybe call it post cut and sew if that's even a thing to say i feel disgusted saying that actually maybe it's not post cut so regardless it's very good menswear right they make very good clothes um they do a very good you know everything from a really good heavy hoodie to a nice pair of shorts because um noah is a really big keen runner and obviously um surfs a lot so he makes great 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 swimming shorts and great just everyday shorts to wear um again good jackets pretty decent collaborations um and just very well done t-shirts for the most part so very well-rounded brand all in mm -hmm. but this stuff that they do now you're definitely seeing a, a real big uptick in the levels and what they're basically putting out there you've got this amazing looking is this tweed looking jacket i'm not sure if it's tweed wherever this brown jacket is on the inside it looks beautiful you've got an amazing uh fisherman's jacket Maybe it's waxed in this lovely tone of yellow. Um, you've got the classic, um, what's it, crochet sort of belt that they know it always do. Either a webbed version or something else. It's sort of like the signature of their brand. They've always got really great belts. A nice pair of pants, top. Obviously, the, the knit with the classic logo doesn't go remiss. Uh, a nice knit there as well as that another knit or sweatshirt underneath a blazer jacket a lot of blazers so maybe they're really upping the production on their tailoring and stuff overall which is a very interesting way um interesting approach to go with especially when you consider most i would imagine most of these streetwear brands or menswear brands are probably most of their target market target most of the target consumers are probably going to be the ages are of what, what 22 to 45 now not a lot of those guys wear suits day to day i'd imagine right so it's a weird thing to do but i guess the whole point of it is that if you if you're noah you're trying to get the kid that's buying your hoodies to also hang around and buy your suits and eventually maybe wear your suits to the first wedding they go to or as as one of their first suits they work they wear when they go into work or something that's i guess the hope you're, you're hoping that your sort of um you know fashion choices and the things that you make in your collections can in 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 turn maybe influence their buying decisions and maybe their taste level and maybe they decide hey you guys make the best cut of a double-breasted blazer and they keep coming back to you instead of going to like you know a borelli or whatever maybe right or some sort of savile row person whatever maybe i guess so um again nice jackets with a zip that's lovely i love that print sort of like a tartan with these lovely pearly white buttons here on the wrist and a nice jumper you got the lady here wearing a great um i forgot what that color is called here where it's sort of like rounds off the edge um maybe it's a pajama pant jacket jack shirt i'm not too sure but it's got the heart motif print all over it you've got another is this houndstooth uh blazer in a very great color that will breasted blazer looks like maybe with the buttons here on either side maybe look really nice great cut great fit overall I love this Kelly Green outfit. It looks like a oh, what what was they what do you call that jumper? I'm not too sure what the name of it is, but it's got little holes in it, and it's got um it's got like a collar you'd find on a long sleeve polo, um with maybe some matching shorts and some great pair of socks. So that looks really good. I got a great pink jumper here, getting some nice slacks with a nice uh, nicely pastel print there Oof, that's one of my favorite looks of course that looks really good that's like noah's um interpretation of a classic barber jacket it looks like right it's a barber collaboration it looks like they're barber on one side Noah on the other side with a great beanie um some what what, did, what do you think those are maybe are they, are they is that a velour or a corduroy pant right maybe on top of some nice uh strap derby boots very nice i love that shirt very our legacy-esque with a little flower motif there on the chest but again very very well done one of my favorite brands man, all around you can't go wrong with it man loads of great pieces that you could easily wear 
and muck about in your wardrobe again very well done very well put together store's probably going to be i'll be i guess open sometime this week or maybe next i'm not too sure to be completely honest but it looks very very nice noah nyc spring 2021 again one of the good guys man again a brand that's actually you know run by people that love the game that are in it for the love um have a storied history in the scene overall um don't treat you like cunts when you walk into the store uh have generally affordable prices and they're just you know one of the good guys so definitely go and support them if you can i definitely recommend that one then we have uh, come on let's work here then we have this we have one of my favorite brands season in season and probably one of the most consistent brands on the scene without a shadow of a doubt stussy a legendary streetwear brand maybe one of the first um alongside fucked and um fresh jive and a few others right to really you know put streetwear on the map in a big 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 way um sean stussy of course is no longer involved they've got an entire different team there obviously um pushing things forward and this is maybe one of the rare if not the only instance i could see of a streetwear brand that doesn't necessarily have the main dude involved anymore but it's still doing bits like it to see what to see the difference between what Stussy offers and what Babe and Ape offers post Nego is just depressing, right? It's really depressing to see the stuff that Babe are doing with that brand and how um what what's that flipping holding company that owns it? Wherever they are, they're absolutely killing Babe, right? The collaborations, the products they put out, it's just all garbage, all garbage. Like there's not one good thing that's come out of it. Like babe ended for me when i saw aj tracy wear that puma babe jacket right like aj tracy cool you might make some cool songs here and there but the guy's not a cool guy right you don't want to wear anything aj tracy's wearing and he's wearing this long babe jacket puma thing the puma babe i think it was puma and babe right puma puma collaborating with babe like in a non-ironic way in a way that doesn't involve just like um what the trainers called right that's the only way i could see babe collaborating with puma if they made those flipping trainers right they run the mcu somewhere back in the day uh or beastie boys somewhere back whatever that's the only shoe i can ever see uh or the only thing item of clothing that babe should ever be involved with when it comes to puma but they make some long awesome wango s jacket and they get aj tracy to model it i'm just you know shoot me in the head in it um but stussy have been smashing it quietly and again i don't know who's involved we don't know anything about the people that are doing the design they're not front and center of any magazine they're not trying to put their face out there maybe people know them behind the scenes but again i'm just a consumer i like to watch this stuff from afar by myself and keep it moving i don't want to be anyone's friend so i don't know anyone that does any of this stuff but from what i can see from looking afar this stuff is so so well done the lookbook of course is exquisite always really well done great models great looks um great styling great photography but the clothes themselves individually are just like a1 so this is a sushi spring 2021 lookbook it says here it's seasonally appropriate wardrobe for everybody who's anybody simple essentials and smart cuts durable fabrics and dizzy in patterns angle yourselves towards the sun a trippy floral sherpa zip up a yarn dyed striped pants a billboard sweater an und well, understated tonal hawaiian print jacket sports coat with a monogram lining a quilted line uh liner vest and a mess tank for layering i love product descriptions i don't know why um stushy spring summer 21 collections available worldwide on friday february the 5th so it should be available out now if you're um near any location but just look how great all of this stuff is right jackets this coat look with the all white with the black boots uh this vest is flipping great jumpers nice look at the sweatpants you got these all white air max 95 which i'm sure might be a collab great jacket there they make obviously an amazing short sleeve um printed shirt that everyone's kind of always a fan of look at that look there with a hat and that vest that everyone get eaten up and of course you got the little indication that they're bringing back the uh, signature um, sorry the collaboration they did with, with nike or rajas from back in the day i think those two colorways there was this and also a sandy sort of colorway so that's great maybe it's an indication that a few other nike um archive collabs are coming out from back in the day i think there was something else i saw featured i forgot who it was but there's maybe a slew of them they kind of got a retro but that's a really cool collaboration um you've got this great jumper there 
you've got this amazing jacket maybe the best in the actual all of it all in general that i'd wear in a heartbeat that looks a little bit like a tech jacket with some great pockets in the front angled pocket here on the arm and then a great little stushy logo here on the side great sweatpants my favorite type of sweatpants without the cuff in the bottom are they sweatpants or are they trousers they might be trousers actually i'll take that back they're trousers but regardless i'm still a fan of that um nice anorak here or last half zip you'd say right um again great vest nice bottoms i'm not too sure about those cycling type trainers though but just overall just easily easily really really well done clothing you can easily wear again it's suiting same with noah right there's obviously a concerted effort to get kids to wear suits nowadays we just to see how that goes on and evolves hopefully if the pricing is good and it's good options and that'll make more sense but again what is good what is good pricing with a suit i have no idea the last suit i bought was from flipping zara right and it was what 150 quid for for both pieces including the shirt i think i don't know what's a good price for like a suit from a streetwear brand or from a um, a menswear brand that isn't fashion well what is it 300 pounds um 400 like what would be the actual price um because i'm sure if you go to like a savile road tailor you're gonna have to pay thousands plus right so you don't really have many options it's either you go for like a high street one in terms of top shop and all those kind of places r.i.p or whatever it may be or you go to um one of the other high street suit people like moss bros and whatever it may be called right and you don't really want to wear those suits right because they're like they're the sort of suits you'd wear if you're gonna go if you're gonna you know work in an office somewhere um but yeah interesting to see what, what they're gonna do with suiting um again great oh they're the other colorway of the arches that are due to come out too you've got the sweatpants again a nice jumper there you've got this nice fleece zip up that looks flipping cozy as fuck i love the pockets too the pockets slightly angled i'm a big fan of slightly angled pockets i got me I, I don't like the you know these these are the same these sort of like a slightly angled zip pocket it's a bit annoying with the zip itself your skin always scratches up against it but i like that it's angled i hate the the pockets that just basically slits on the side that you put in just makes the jacket scrunch up a bit weird but i think this drops really nice with the sort of digi print camo pants or tree bark camo pants sorry um again just so so well done man that's a very good um Notting Hill carnival vest to wear in it make sure it could it could be worn in the hot in the heat and in the summer but that is so good all of it's great all of it's fucking fantastic I'd wait oh come on look how good this looks that jacket is so hard that outfit is so hard oh yeah yeah it's all so good I want everything but yeah definitely check out Stushy Spring 2021 collection easy one of my favorites out there they make some really good stuff like, look at that look at that that's that's ready for church bruv isn't it hallelujah isn't it hallelujah amen and of course you know just throwing a girl there just to kind of show you what else they're just to show you what else to show you they're not only you know slaying it for the men they're also kind of picking stuff up for the women like look at that man look at that look at all of this all so good so bloody good it's all really oh, that that look is great isn't it what is that skirt material is that like a towel pile what is that very nice got these shorts as well i like nice shirt it all looks so good. oh yeah it's the same material isn't it? whatever that material that is that's really nice oh it all looks so great man but yeah definitely check it out stussy spring summer 2021 one of my favorite brands out there doing big things without even having to try